He spent a shared chunk of time yelling at himself. Okay. What is it though? Like, what can I do with it? Ooh. That was the thing I had to do. Okay. Was that dangerous? That seemed dangerous. Okay, I can't be the only one that finds it weird how I can't, like, touch anything here. I can't zoom. I find it weird I can't zoom in on it. There's just stuff going on here. There's four crystals and a bunch of controls, and the only one I can do is, to, is this one. Can I close it again? Oops, wrong one. There we go. Just thought maybe that symbol would be useful. The lever's staying flipped. Cable goes way the heck up there where that seems lined up with that curious about that crystals abound lots of cabling for the harnessing of electricity he was going for sure but it weirds me out that I can't zoom in on this to even look at it, it seems like there's just like a bunch of controls here but I can't do anything with them Keep poking around, I suppose. Impossible. Every scientific principle I know tells me these rocks shouldn't be floating. And yet, somehow, they are. Don't know how you did it, Father. But if you can write it, I can certainly use it. Ah. You gave him floating rocks and he found- and he tried to find a way to harness that power. He chained it down. I wonder what's revealed by the- the way that it's chained down. Can I go down there? Maybe. Just not from here, perhaps? Can I go over there? So we have a way to go up there by the Zeppelin thing, but not much clue what's going on. Also, I find it interesting, you can, uh... There's... What, it, what do you call it? Like, I guess there are different resolutions, I suppose? There's a little bit of a Hanna-Barbera effect, where like... In those cartoons, different stuff would be lit up differently, because it'd be like something that was painted on a separate layer over the background painting or something. This right here, and a few of the other moving objects, appear to be two-dimensional. But the perspective you see them from when they're two-dimensional, they're like a... It, they seem to be rendered differently than the rest of the environment, so they stand out a bit compared to the other stuff that's around. Okay, I think those are just 3D models floating around back there. All the all the uh, background asteroid things, debris, stuff, things. Still got to piece together to some extent just what I'm going for here in the first place. Well, that's freaking out. Ooh. A tunnel I could go down. And a chessboard? Were you playing against your son? Remotely? 
What kind of a move is that? You had me, father. You totally had me. And now you're leaving your queen wide open? Getting the narrow chest pieces out of you is more of a challenge than this. Interesting. They're these grand villains of uh, mist, and they've been chained away in these these forgotten worlds. But at the same time, uh, at the same time, like Atrus is playing chess with his own sons, like as if they're just on a way on vacation or something, and not like you know horrible monsters that attacked people and destroyed civilizations or something or. Something along those lines, seemingly. Is that a floating crystal? It seems to just be on a chain. I think it's just a floating crystal power source. So is it like cold here? So that's where his bed was? He didn't take any place that has kind of like any amount of shelter really? It's just kind of in the open. Not that there's a lot of options around here. He seemed to be freezing around that fire before, wasn't he? Nera, stronger than any other substance, will need all the power keyboard can take. The power keyboard? Will even that be enough? It distributed across all three. Eight 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 nine 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 ten ten ten. Huh. I don't have context for this one yet. I don't think I haven't seen the device it's referring to. Let's see a bunch of gears, three different cables. Every partially successful rock test suggests. 20 units of power total, no more, no less. But in what combination? Must find a way of dividing more accurately across three cables. 20 units of power, no more, no less. Are we getting set up for like a another water bucket game, basically? Ah, it opens. Wasn't sure. Uh, can you get out of the way, please? Thank you. <laughs> Blue crystal test. Results conclusive. Need to supply keyboard with total electricity gathered in garden and docking station only to disrupt, disrupt these samples. Just keeping them available to page through if I need to later. Let's see. He's saying you need to supply the keyboard with the total electricity gathered in the garden and docking station only. I'm trying to absorb the information, but I just don't, I don't have the context yet. I don't think I can go through the other pages. I didn't have like a... I don't, I don't think I had a prompt. Oh. You gotta move really slow to go through these. So there's four different crystals here. It could almost be like a combination lock. The way that it rolls back in place. Not sure what to think yet. So here's where he's been working, sure. Ooh. What are we looking at now? 
It almost seems like he grabbed it and swung it so hard it embedded in the wall. Like, I'm not sure if this serves any purpose. It might just be slammed into the wall and bent and stuck. It just seems shaped like he would have swung it out of anger. What, do you figure out how to make rocks explode? Is that what we're implying here? Could be. Yeah, that's the- that thing right there is the thing that they used- he was using to measure them, or- I don't know, it's a piece of metal that was on the front of these rock-looking things. And it was there in the flashback, but it's over here, so it like flew across the room and, and embedded itself into this pillar, which looks like it's made of metal, so it's not really a minor thing to get stuck in there. So he didn't swing it, it flew across the room when the explosion happened? If that's what he's doing, apparently? That fan up there. Should I go... Let's not go down there yet. Keep the option open, but I have, I have more stuff on this floor to poke around with still. There's more this way, I believe. Looks like his lab. Change to its molecular structure, no buildup of illumination inside. As long as the crystal remains grounded, electricity just passes straight through it. Interesting. They figured out how to make the crystals conduct electricity. He just needs to grind ground it, which is what he's got set up here. Was this has to be left or right. You can't stop in the middle. This one has a crank. Oh yeah. So this would be us generating electricity probably. And then what if I switch it over? Uh, now what am I doing? Am I draining power from it into that one? Seems like it. Not sure I can do anything right here. <clears throat> Not sure I can do anything right here, but what? But this might give me information about how to how to interact with a different crystal somewhere else in this area. Has to be fake. Has to be. But will getting to it allow me to finally reach the ground? Have to know. Have to get over there. Ah, so he seems to have known that the that the journal, the book, had reached the ground, so he's trying to figure out how to get down. He thinks that being over there might help. He may have found a way over there. This, this structure looks like that one over there. I'm not entirely sure if I understand what he says is fake, though. Maybe I just can't tell what he's looking at.
Oh yeah, and when I look at these, I'm thinking that these things with the floating rocks and stuff like that and these weird stands, it's probably some sort of system that allows the zeppelin to go across, the blimp. That might be how he got over there, which he seems to have thought that going over there was his solution. I'm not entirely sure why yet. Nothing? I opened the journal, but it's not saying anything. It appears that I have underestimated him. I did not think he could be this devious. He always said Spire was dangerous, but I assumed he meant its people were violent. Violent and potentially xenophobic. The perfect combination with which to orchestrate a coup. But there are no people here. No prosperous civilization for me to rule. I see now how his linking panel fooled me. Congratulations, Father. This hand goes to you. I have established a temporary encampment near the Vegetal Cavern. The food I brought with me should last a month. After that, I will be forced to grow what I eat. The plants here are neither scrumptious nor overly abundant. But I have tasted several and find the nutrition is there. Turning now to the question of escape. I believe there may yet be a missed linking book here. The simplest way for Father to have disposed of it would have been to jump off the palace as he touched it. There are other ways, of course, but I cannot ignore this possibility. I must at least attempt to reach the ground. This is fast becoming unacceptable. I have slid down every oddly shaped windpipe in this age and have yet to see below the second cloud layer. I was fairly certain that at least three of the passages would prove successful. Yet even they dead-ended inside a magnificent sealed cavern full of crystals. The crystals themselves are curious. Something about their inner matrix makes them susceptible to a buildup of negative charges. When I touched one, I received a terrible shock. At the same time, the faint light that had been emanating from the crystal faded, and I heard a very curious hum, which ceased as soon as the crystal's charge was expended. I should like to study these crystals more thoroughly, and will institute a plan to mine the cavern extensively. Last night, I saw lights flickering in some of the other palaces. It occurred to me that I might not be alone. What if this age is like stone ship? Father never could explain how Emmett and Branch just appeared there. He said the art was always surprising him. Could it be that the lights I saw flickering were made by other people? What I would give to discover this is true. After all these months of solitude, just to have another person to talk to. About the floating rocks. There is a phosphorescent green mineral running through much of this age which exhibits strong diamagnetic properties. At least that is the most workable hypothesis I have devised that can explain how the rocks I see outside my garden are able to float. This has given me an idea. If I can capture one of the larger boulders, I should be able to turn it into a vessel and thereby sail across the clouds to the nearest palace. The most difficult obstacle to achieving this will be maintaining the necessary altitude. I have noticed that these rocks float higher than the highest point on that palace. Forcing my ship to float lower than it prefers will take some doing. For the past few weeks, I've been watching storms move through the second cloud layer. They appear as flashes of light inside the strata. The violence of these storms does not reach me in the garden. I encounter no rain, barely feel the wind. I am completely safe here, nestled between layers. I do not know how this is possible. 
How could Father have created a world which exhibits so many scientific impossibilities? He never did explain how to write an age. He never taught Agnar or I the art. I wonder now if I should have insisted. The crystals I mine from the lower cavern are really quite remarkable. There seems to be no limit to the amount of electricity they can store. Unfortunately, this makes working with them difficult. So long as a charged crystal is isolated, the energy inside it remains trapped in its matrix. But the moment the crystal even brushes against a grounded object, stored charge flows out, producing a most amazing song. I should like to capitalize on this singing ability, if only as a pleasant diversion. It might be nice to hear some music in these caverns. Regardless, I believe the crystals can solve my rock ship problem. By affixing them to some of the floating rocks, then casting them back into the clouds, I should be able to harness enough of Spire's natural electricity to fuel an electromagnet. The attractive force of the magnet, combined with the smaller magnetic fields of the lightning conductors, should be able to lower the ship and guide it to the nearest palace. It is definitely worth an attempt. Another storm is brewing as I write this. I can feel the hairs on my arms starting to rise. I'm almost crazed with anticipation, waiting to test the first conductor. My God, is this what Father felt? Every time his hand hovered above the panel of a book he'd just written? Did he feel this much excitement as he stood poised to learn of his theories and worked? Why did he never share this with me? If he had, perhaps things could have been different between us. The first conductor is glowing. Here goes nothing. No, 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 no! My calculations were perfect. The ship should not have broken free. The distance between the conductors must be too great. I'm going to have to add more to the system, but if I do, the electromagnetic pull will be too strong and the ship will crash to the floor. So can I counterbalance it? Create a second electromagnet in the roof of the garden. Another storm. I am going to have to start building again and capture another rock for a ship. This mistake has set me back years. But I am close, so close to reaching the nearest palace and from there maybe accessing the ground. I only hope the linking book still works. Boy oh boy, four year, not four years, four games in the series and suddenly we have voice acted uh, journals, but only once you get the medallion, which is after the first two or so journals. Huh. So when a revealed basically what I thought, which is that he was trying to fly over there and took some doing. It's funny because while they, I think we're going to find that while the two of them were imprisoned, they essentially have been put through even more tests, just like they were in Mist 3 Exile, which admittedly seemed incredibly dangerous. And Atris is losing every Father of the Year award competition so far. But, uh,. You can see why he kept the information from them about how to write the arts, because they seem to be an all-around... They just seem to be all-around problems, and having them have that kind of power would be disastrous after how it, he, they treated his uh, books in the past. Roots... That means plant life, that means he has something to sustain himself with. Your faith in me is truly amazing, Mother. How long before I kill this one? Is the idea that the mother keeps giving him more and more plants that he can try to keep around?
This has been interesting because it makes their supposed, their apparent imprisonment less cr cruel seeming. But how long have they... I'm trying to think about the timeline, like, they've been imprisoned for 20 years. How much of those 20 years has he spent in contact with his family? Because they're like, they're like playing chess and they're exchanging information and giving them flowers and things like that. Like, there's a weird, like... It's almost like an enforced, like, you go live in that other state situation, as opposed to, uh, full-on, like, in trapped imprisonment and everything. But that said, there's just, they're also trapped with no people, so it's not fan- it's not a great situation to be in. Uh, but it's- it- it's less iffy than it seemed before. It's almost like they're trying to re redeem Atrus's behavior a bit in this game, but... They're, st it's, they're still stuck in a pretty awful situation that, admittedly, they kind of deserve to be in because of how they behaved. I think it's just diagrams of the... of... plant material or being extracted from these nodules. That's what all this goo is he's got everywhere. And all these vials we keep finding. Oh yeah, and there's like... Amoebas in the main crystal thing. I'm sure, parenting's hard enough without having to deal with the ins the insane powers offered to you by the linking books and the art. So it's hard. You can kind of see where uh, Atrus's problems would come from and how this could all happen. But at the same time. Oh, where am I? Oh, it's just over here. Okay. But at the same time, they definitely, like... They definitely gave their children some rope to hang themselves with, and... Then were surprised when such so th such things happened. Although it sounded like their kids were keeping it a secret for a while, just how much they were... How far they were willing to go, and then it all kind of exploded out one day. But then parents often don't see in it in their kids what they're capable of, though. Huh. 